Hello, welcome to Geek Chit Chat. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a Fitbit Charge HR um, that is stuck in the update progress. progress. So um, if you guys have this problem, you obviously know what it's all about. It looks like this right here. You have this progress bar and the update is stuck halfway through. And no matter what you do, you can't get it to complete. Um, so I looked up all kinds of videos, all kinds of stuff online to try and fix this problem and got nowhere. And so I ended up calling uh, Fitbit support, which is extremely helpful, um, by the way. But they walked me through uh, how to fix this. And I really didn't think they were going to be able to fix it. I thought that they were going to have to replace it. Um, but they actually can now fix this problem. Um, and I'm going to walk you guys through what I did and how they had me fix it. So to first thing that I did was, of course, is to um, basically uh, delete the tracker from the Fitbit app. So what you want to do is open your Fitbit app, um, click on the little account uh, thing that looks like a credit card kind of, and find the uh, charge HR, and then you will basically click on the remove this charge. So that will remove the uh, device from the app. Um, so I did that before I even called them and I thought, oh, I'm smart. I can figure this out on my own. Well, the part that I missed and forgot to do was there's another step and that is basically to, um, on the iPhone itself, not in the app, but in the Bluetooth is to actually, um, remove the, uh, Bluetooth device. So you, you go to Bluetooth and you find the device. Now, it's going to say like charge HR or something. It's not in this list right here. Just using this as, as an example. You'll click the little I next to um, the device and you'll be able to say forget this device. So that's the one of the parts that's important. So make sure that you do that. The next thing that's important is immediately after you do that, turn off Bluetooth on your uh, iPhone or whatever device you're using. So um, right here is where you would turn off uh, Bluetooth. You'd come up here and you would click this. This is on an iPhone. So turn off Bluetooth and wait 20 seconds. Um, after 20 seconds passes, you can go ahead and you can turn Bluetooth back on. Okay. Then basically after that, you'll be able to go ahead and you'll be able to go ahead and start the, um, add the, add the, uh, the charge HR back onto uh, the account. Uh, so open up the Fitbit app again, and basically you're going to um, go to the account and you're going to say set up a device. And when you do that, um, you're going to step through the different steps and you're going to, it's going to ask you to um, follow the steps and basically, um, you know, connect it uh, to the Bluetooth, do the whole Bluetooth thing, the synchronization thing. So you'll be able to actually... Um, the first time I did it, it didn't work. I had to do it a second time. And then it finally found the Fitbit. Um, and then what happens is is when you're going through and you have this whole set up your Fitbit part, one of the steps that you're going to see, it's not on this, there's not a picture of it here, but it's going to say update this device. It's not going to let you go any farther uh, in setting it up or completing the process until you update it. So when you hit that update your device, um, of course, the whole time you're doing this, you want to have the... Um, you do want to have the Fitbit plugged in to either a USB port on a computer or plugged in to a USB uh, to the, the AC adapter. Um, so have the Fitbit plugged in the whole time you're doing this. And then once you do this and you get it synchronized back up again, um, what it's going to do is it's going to continue on uh, with that update. You'll actually see the update progress bar starts to move again. And it actually will finish the update and you'll be able to use the use the uh, Fitbit charge again um, as normal. I did this for my wife's Fitbit. Um, it worked perfect, um, but she was unable to use it for several days. It, no matter what you did, you couldn't get past that progress bar. So um, even a factory, even doing a factory reset didn't do anything. The, prog the progress bar just still stayed on the screen. Um, and it also ch deletes the battery or dis discharges the battery really quickly. Uh, so you have to could constantly plug it in and all it's doing is just showing that bar and discharging the battery so it's just like kind of like a, I thought it I thought really it was gonna be a brick I thought it was not gonna be all fixed 
be able to, to be fixed. Um, but it actually was able to be fixed. Uh, follow these steps I just gave you and you should be in good shape. Uh, if you're not, um, if you still have problems, don't hesitate to call uh, Fitbit uh, support. They're very friendly and they'll be able to help you out. So good luck. I hope this helps you um, get that, uh, get your Fitbit up and running again. And if it does, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like this video. Appreciate it. Thanks.